Questions of Doom. Hello and welcome back to another Questions of Doom. In this series, as ever, I attempt to answer questions that you send my way using the archaeosoup at gmail.com email address as displayed on the YouTube channel homepage or alternatively as you'll see at the end of this video. In answering these questions by video, it is my fond hope that the answer is made useful not only to the person who has asked the question, but also anyone else out there, i.e. you, who may find the answer interesting, useful, or simply stimulating to the brain. Today's question is with regards to dinosaurs, and though many of you will no doubt know my position on this, on such things, uh, i.e. archaeologists don't do dinosaurs, um, this question is actually uh, fairly um, urgent in so much as it is creeping into the realm of archaeology, and uh, the, the asker seems to want or need the answer fairly post-haste. So um, I thought I would dive in. So uh, it goes like this. Hello, Mr. Soup. Near Peru's Tocapala Caves, which I'm no doubt pronouncing, pronouncing horribly, pronouncing, ironically, um, famous for their cave paintings, similar newly discovered paintings have been found near the Tambolic Caves, or Tambolic Caves. Could you look into this? Which I have a little bit. One thing, with your archaeological contacts, you may be able to see actual pictures. There are very few on the internet, which is true, yes. Why? Mm. Some idiots are claiming that this is evidence of people hunting dinosaurs. Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. Um, I'm not absolutely sure uh, it is. Tambolic or Tocapala, Tocapala, Tocapala sorry, um, but need to confirm the pictures and real science behind their discovery. If you can't help me, would you do a video on the Peruvian cave paintings anyway? <clears throat> Thanks, John. Well, John, um, you're quite right, actually. I, I couldn't really find much about this at all. Um, I did ask a few people, um, even a, a, um, a Peruvian uh, type specialist that I know, and they said, hmm, I shall get back to you. Uh, and then when they did, they didn't really have much to say. Um, maybe if this is simply a news, uh, a find, rather, which is making its way to broader circles in the next couple of weeks, who knows. Um, However, I did find an awful lot about these uh, th this area and its supposed link with dinosaurs. Uh, indeed, um, uh, one image supposedly shows a dinosaur fighting a mammoth, um, although it's actually a, a rock formation and not a painting. So, um, But yes, you're quite right. There are those who are trying to use uh, such images uh, to, to show that the world is younger than perhaps it is, uh, or rather, perhaps younger than it is. And um, in answer to your your, your uh, sort of request, I shall do a video on Peruvian cave paintings in the near future, or in the not too distant future. Um, but anyway, to, to to look a bit further at your question, um, these paintings are dated to have been carbon dated uh, fairly reliably to around 8,000 BC, six, uh, 7,650 if you want to be precise. Um, and they are thought to uh, portray uh, people and the resources around them, for, uh, in, in particular at uh, uh, Tocopala. Um, they uh, also show animals which are sort of camel-like, they're described as camel-like animals, creatures, um, which uh, some choose to interpret as being dinosaurs, uh, but are far more likely to be uh, guanaco. Um, again, I may be pronouncing that terribly, uh, guanaco. They're kind of like llamas, but a bit more hairy and a bit more sort of yellowy. So, in terms of what they're depicting, um, frankly, I don't, I don't for a moment think they look at all like dinosaurs. Uh, indeed, um, why would they? Now, to look at the broader issue here, in terms of uh, the, the age of the world, we know fairly conclusively um, that the world is very, very old. Um, it's somewhere in the region of four billion years old. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and since then, Things have been happening and the world's been forming and life has come and gone, etc, etc. But the key, the key element here, the key aspect which applies to archaeology is something called uniformitarianism, which is a geological principle, which states that everything we see in the world, uh, and geologic and indeed otherwise, is subject to the same physics and the same processes as it always has been. So, for example, a river valley is carved by a river over, over a long, 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 long time. 
uh, even the Grand Canyon uh, was formed with, with these sorts of rules. They just happen to have had a long time to form, and therefore they're massive. But um, the, 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 the flip side of that is that there's never been a time when there's been uh, a dramatic uh, different uh, rules of physics or uh, rules of geology or rules of uh, uh, liquid dynamics um, which have uh, formed the planet or indeed affected life on this planet. What this means is that uh, in order for things to have, had to have formed the way they have, uh, the planet has to be a certain age. It can't be much younger than, than what we think. Now, in terms of uh, the dinosaurs, um, the, 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 the date for their extinction is 65 million years ago. Uh, human beings have been around for about 200,000 years, give or take. Now, uh, that is one of the reasons why I always say, we don't do dinosaurs. But it's also, um, hopefully, for those uh, out there who may be a bit confused, um, hopefully this demonstrates that human beings and dinosaurs never really met one another. Uh, because 65 million years ago is a long, long, long time ago, and 200,000 years ago really isn't that long ago at all. So um, dinosaurs and people never interacted. Now uh, there are those who, who say, ah, yes, but birds are dinosaurs. Well, that's, that's a, a possible answer. Some small dinosaurs may have become birds over time, especially uh, uh, if you look at the bone structure, the way that uh, uh, bird bones um, have certain air pockets in them to make them lighter, some smaller dinosaurs certainly share those features. But in that case, what we're talking about, again, by the time you get to 200,000 years ago, or indeed, let's be generous, let's say 5 million years ago, 5 or 6, when the first creatures which eventually became people were around, um, you're still looking at birds, you're not looking at dinosaurs. So... Uh, to a certain extent, this, this question, and you're quite right, um, some people, I mean, you say some idiots, but I mean, whether they're idiotic or not, some people quite, you know, do try and push this evidence and say that people and dinosaurs were living together. And here's the evidence, we hunted dinosaurs, we hunted a brown brontosaurus. And it always tends to be the most popular dinosaurs which are identified, which is interesting. Um, those which appear in children's books, for example, you know, there's a, here is a long-necked brontosaurus, and um, people go, Brontosaurus, what, what's that? It's not even a dinosaur. Um, but uh, uh, yes, people do try and push the evidence and, and say that. But the simple fact of the matter is, it's a mute debate. It simply uh, isn't the case. We didn't interact with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs weren't around. Um, now, I'm, you know, being a good scientific type of person, um, I'm willing to concede that at some point we may well discover that there's been a creature uh, in, the, in the depths of the ocean, perhaps, or perhaps even, um, who knows, Loch Ness, um, where, uh, which has survived a long time. After all, there are many plant species out there, uh, bracken, for example, which um, have barely changed at all since the, the age of the dinosaurs. Some, um, some bugs and beetles, wood lice, are almost unchanged. They've just sort of shrunk a bit um, since that time. Crocodiles, some sharks, um, allig no, alligators, maybe? Anyway, there are lots of creatures which, which have seemingly continued in almost unchanged over all that time. So, um, you know, I will happily put my hand up and say at some point we may find out that that is the case. But it's unlikely to ever really have interacted with people because um, it's likely to be in, in places where we haven't gone yet. Like the very deepest parts of the ocean or uh, places which are simply hidden from human habitation. Um, so, uh, in answer to, I suppose, the broader issue here, um, it simply is a mute debate. It's, it just didn't, isn't the case. People and dinosaurs didn't interact. They haven't lived together. They can't have done because we've only been here for so long and they were here much, 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 much earlier. And incidentally, in the lifespan of the planet, um, you know, we're here, we, you know, it's, it, we're, we've been here for a, a micro, you know, micro little piece of time, a, a few seconds in the day of the planet, as it were. Um, in, in this particular case, um, as I say, or uh, as you quite, quite rightly identify, it's quite hard to get a hold of pictures from uh, the new site at Tambolik. Um, but in terms of the, the uh, other paintings in the area, they are most likely to depict animals which we do know about. And we can quite happily explain and point to and say, this is that animal. Uh, and it's, it's no big mystery. 
Um, it also doesn't help the case of those who try and point out that dinosaurs and humans coexisted when they are caught faking their evidence. You know, people who, who go out with a big wooden dinosaur and, go, boop, 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 and then walk next to it and say, see, dinosaurs and people. Um, frankly, uh, if, the, if, if you're talking about people who are willing to fake evidence, um, you also have to question their speculations when it comes to archaeological finds as well. So, all in all, uh, I've rambled on a bit there. If anyone else out there does know anything about uh, the Tambolic Cave find, uh, please do post below and have a bit of a, a chat. I'm sure John, uh, John here would be very interested to, to, to hear about it. Um, and when it comes to uh, the broader issues of uh, whether or not dinosaurs and human beings coexisted, I'm not really interested in what you believe. I'm not really interested um, in sharing uh, uh, what I uh, uh, believe. And basically, essentially, I'm not trying to get into a debate about, um, let's say the word, creationism, for example. Um, but it, 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 I would be interested to hear a bit more about um, other cases where people have tried to stretch the evidence. So if you have any stories about along those lines, that would be very interesting. But please, guys, let's not have a religious debate here, because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to, uh, to talk about archaeology, and good archaeology at that. Uh, so there you go. Thanks very much for asking the question, John. Hopefully uh, this video has, has gone some way to, at the very least, blowing um, the question of dinosaurs in Peru and people out of the water somewhat. I will make a video about Peruvian cave art in uh, at some point in the not-too-distant future. And, um, and as soon as I come across anything more along the lines of the Tambalic Cave, I shall email you post-haste. Um, I may even send a carrier pigeon, who knows. So until next time, guys, remember, play nice in your discussion. Uh, ta -ra. Bye bye.